time isn't what you think. If you want to get out of here, I'm the only shot you have. You made a big mistake. I'm an Avenger. You're an Avenger. Have I killed you before? What? They all blew together after a while. Who are you? Just a man who's lost a lot of time. Someone stole something from me. And you're the only one who can steal it back. So, do we have a deal? No, I don't think we do. Yeah, if you leave. Bad man. In today's video, we are continuing our coverage for Marvel's next movie, which is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. So we're going to be going over the leaked trailer that will be coming out within the, the next 24 hours. And also we're going to be going over some small bits of information that are coming out about Quantum Mania. Quantum Mania will be the best Marvel movie in 2023. I'm not including Across the Spider-Verse because that's a Sony animation movie. I'm not including that. So, what is good YouTube voice you here if you are new around here? Make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel and DC pop culture based content that we do on the daily basis. If you could subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and let me know how freaking hype are you for Kang the freaking Conqueror to come and conquer your heart, mind, and soul. If you could check us out on Twitter, WustuG, and also check us out on Instagram at WustuG to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. Right, let's get in to this video. So it's always worth saying, this does not come from Marvel Studios themselves, but we've been covering this kind of stuff on the channel for the last three years plus. So stuff like this does actually happen and in my opinion it's from a credible source but take it with a little bit of salt but it does line up with what i already know happens in the movie based on plot leaks already so opens with an overhead b-roll shot of san francisco scott is walking down the street kang you're an interesting man scott lang hope gets out of the vehicle in a gown then she and scott are walking down the red carpet at the awards ceremony Kang, you're a young Avenger. Scott activates his suit helmet inside the quantum realm and lands on something. Kang, you have a daughter. Scott holds up a picture of young Cassie, teenage Cassie, in a release from a jail cell. Kang, but you've lost a lot of time like me. Scott looks concerned with Hank, Janet, Hope behind him. Cassie turns on the quantum mania machine she created the machine activates with a glowing blue light janet hope look terrified kang we could help each other with this machine sucks everyone in scott is holding on to cassie but she slips and falls in he lets go and falls in with her cuts to black shot of kang's boots slowly approaching scott who are you scott looks very concerned kang i am the man who can give you one thing you want Kang's blue mask deactivates once again, revealing he is not blue, it is helmet and mask. His eyes glow and are blue in this scene, but strangely, not in the rest. Scott, what's that? Kang looks at Scott without the mask stroke helmet on, and his eyes have returned to dark brown. Kang, time. Marvel Studios title logo hits. Overhead shot of the Chronicles in motion. Kang walking out onto a platform with an orange portal above him. Janet, he can rewrite existence. Shot of the Chronicles with its large rings rising over it. Janet looks on in darkness with concern. Janet shatters timelines. Kang looks up. Scott splits into two Ant-Mans. They look at each other in shock. Janet speaks to Scott and Hope. Janet, you cannot trust him. Scott walks out onto the platform, followed by Kang. Cassie is behind Kang, with two soldiers wearing similar blue helmets. Modok, without the gold mask, revealing he is in fact a very large human head, is behind them, played by Corey Stool. They look out on what looks like a damaged section of the quantum realm. Scott, I don't care who this guy is. I just lost so much. Shot of young Cassie running to Scott. Shouting, Daddy, shot of Cassie embracing Scott. Scott looks to be comforting her. Scott, he can give us a second chance. Scott, diving into some part of the quantum realm, 
might be the damaged looking section from the previous scene, shrinking down even further as he approaches another orange portal. On February the 17th, shot of some creature flying over water with Janek holding the reins, riding it with Hank and Hope. The creature dives over the top of the cliff. Kang, let me make this easy for you. Shot of a large gold structure spinning above. This structure is illuminated and it's hieroglyphs on it that it resembles the glyphs from the Eternal Ship. Shang-Chi, Ten Rings, Kamala's Bangles. The ones behind wander in the dark hole temple beneath the structure. There are thousands of Ant-Mans forming a column, seamlessly pushing one of them towards the structure. We then see Scott stand at the top of them, aiming his arms towards it. Looks like he's shooting with pin particles or something. Kang, you will bring me what I need. Cassie stands in front of an orange blurry portal looking in. Kang, or everything you call life will end. Cassie looks concerned. Scott embraces hope for it. This looks like a hello or goodbye. Witness the beginning. Kang stands on the platform again in chronicles. Looking at the orange portal above, Kang's army assembles with soldiers on the ground and ships launching of a new destiny. Kang's army attacks Scott and Cassie run away with the other people around, perhaps inhabitants of the city. Janik and Hank embrace, looking concerned. Cassie, this is all my fault. Cassie speaks above while standing in front of two of Kang's soldier on this platform. Scott runs, splitting into multiple Ant-Mans. This may be echo to him rather than new variants of him. We see a giant Ant-Man splitting into ribbons while running next to him. Giant Ant-Man falls apart much like Reed Richards did in Multiverse of Madness. There are Ant-Man running all around him. Kang speaks to them, sweating with his helmet off, revealing a scar going down the face. Kang, you may not want her to watch this. Cassie looks concerned as the soldier pulled her hand away from Scott. Scott, we had a deal. Kang hits Ant-Man with blue energy blast from his suit. A battle seems to go on. Cassie jumps from the platform in her purple Stinger-inspired suit as a huge purple explosion happens behind her. We see what looks like city lights above her. Then we see her hanging off the site of another platform. Probably a different scene. Explosion. Modok rises wearing his gold mask. Kang punches Scott in the face and he falls to the ground. Hundreds of wasps fly down towards Scott from the large gold ring structure. One grabs Scott's arm whilst he's on the column of Ant-Man. He looks up at her arm and we see either a ton of wasps behind her. These may be echoes of her instead of variants of wasps. Kang stands over Scott, taunting him while he's on the ground. Kang laughs. You thought you could win. Kang gives Scott a boot to the helmet. The helmet rolls off broken, irreplaceable. Scott gets up. Scott, I don't have to win. Kang puts Scott in a headlock as if he's pushing him towards something. Scott, we both just have to lose. Scott is bleeding and glaring at Kang. He says this. Scott starts to fall from the gold ring structure as the column of Ant-Man fall underneath him too. Cassie calls out to Scott. Cassie, dad. Scott struggles under a pile of Ant-Man. He is the only one without a helmet, it appears. I believe this is how we know it's our Scott and not a variant. He is trying to harness or put the helmet back on. Scott, I'm sorry. Kang walks out onto the platform in his suit with the blue helmet mask activated. He shoots blue energy from his suit as he yells, Marvel Studios, Ant-Man and the Wasp, February the 17th. So, as we know, the trailer is supposed to come out tonight during an American football game. So, if this is the actual real trailer that Marvel is dropping for Quantumania for Ant-Man 3 tonight, then this trailer is going to explode, it's going to go viral, it's going to get people hyped up. Why? Because you're going to see Scott Lang, Ant-Man, get beaten up bad. You're going to see Kang's power. You're going to see Kang beat out of Ant-Man. You're also going to see Kang laughing in a vicious way to Scott Lang Ant-Man. You thought you could beat me. You thought you could win. This trailer is going to be absolutely freaking fire if this is true. So some people are getting a little bit skeptical because it's only a two hour movie. Now, I believe I'm from the plot leak being real. This will be Marvel Cinematic Universe, aka the MCU's best movie this year it is setting up kang's dynasty it's setting up secret wars it's setting up so much 
two hours and five minutes of absolute quantum mania savagery is gonna be freaking epic so as i said in the prologue for this video i don't know if this is the actual trailer but if this is the trailer it is freaking hype it's showing you something from the final act the third act with Ant-Man with his helmet, helmet off, so you know it's not a variant of Ant-Man. We know from the previous trailer that there will be variants of Ant-Man. So probably why they're taking the helmet off is so you know it's our Scott Lang. You know it's the Prime Earth, the main MCU version of Ant-Man. And you know he's going to get freaking beaten up bad. I keep putting that image in the thumbnail. Yo, Wall Street, put the image now where he's getting beaten up bad. We need this. We need an actual reaction we need something that's actually threatening too much of this happy-go-lucky let's try and make funny movies like thor love and thunder and the other movies that came out phase four phase five is going to be absolutely now i know a lot of people rinse me in the comment section when i say this but i have full faith that jonathan majors can absolutely freaking kill the role of kang and be menacing be an absolute terrifying beast of a villain. He also said in an interview recently that he wants to humanize Kang, which is interesting because we know the suit turns him blue because we see him outside. We've seen him without the helmet on and he's not blue. So we know the blueness comes directly from the suit. So it's almost going to be like a villain and a human side of him, which is going to be very interesting. And it's interesting that Jonathan Major said that he studied all of the other villains before him because he wanted to be the freaking Donis, which is cool. So like always, guys, we will find out in the next 24 hours if this trailer description for the trailer that is meant to be coming out during American football tonight. And if this information is wrong, I will completely not use this source's information ever again. Or I will be very skeptical when I use it and I will give a huge spoiler warning. So is this real? I don't know. But this trailer sounds like absolute fire. But of course, anyone could have read the legit plot leak because the final parts of this trailer line up with a plot leak massively with Scott Lang getting his ass handed to him. A lot of this trailer lines up with the plot leak. That's why I decided to cover this potential trailer description leak before we actually see the real trailer. But either way, I will be covering the trailer. We will be doing a trailer breakdown and we will be saying how the trailer lines up with all the plot information that's already come out. So freaking hyped for this movie. I'm so freaking hyped to see what can do but i'm also really excited to see what extra layer how much deeper can paul rudd go in the role of ant-man and what can cassie the new young avenger what can she bring to the table and there's modok janet's got a lot of history and a lot of untold stories that she's done and things that's happened inside the quantum realm they're gonna have to fit so much into two hours because there's so much to unpack in this movie as this movie sets up kang's dynasty it sets up kang's viciousness Careful spoilers, I don't want to ruin your life. But at the end of this movie, what happens is Kang the Conqueror escapes the quantum realm and starts to wreak havoc before the multiverse of wars, before Secret Wars comes. And you know, a bunch of incursions will be coming as there's going to be one. Careful spoilers, I don't want to ruin your life. There will be an incursion in Captain Marvel 2, a.k.a. The Marvels. We've done a plot leak for that. I'll link at the end of the video. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at Wushju to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful face. Check us out on Twitter, the Wushju G, and I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch ya later.